Hello and welcome, I'm David Ammerland and today's question is about life. Massive subject, we can take any path to question it, but from philosophical to practical to um, existential and so on. But what I'm going to do today is actually start from a very easy way that looks at a paradox of life. Essentially, none of us have actually chosen actively to be alive. Our being here, right now, breathing, acting, thinking, hoping, planning, executing things in order to move forward, are the ultimate result of somebody else's decision, namely our parents. So we come into this world without an active choice and then we actively have to live in it. We have to make a life that we feel is our own. Now when you actually think about that, you begin to realize a lot of the things which we do are not really coming from us. They're usually the result of friends and parents and upbringing, um, education perhaps, which are circumstances, ethnicity, if we're in a particular country, the language we speak, skin color perhaps, so genetics comes into it. So here's the paradox. We know that we are at our happiest, arguably, when we are in control of our lives, when we are heading towards the path which we have chosen for ourselves, and when we do things which we intend to do for ourselves in order to fulfill our own drive, desires, needs, and hopes and dreams. So if we know that, why don't we always act on it, even though we think we do? You need to think a little bit about this, you need to think about how circumstances drive us, you need to think about how most of the time we're in a reactive mode, where we basically react to the environment and the circumstances and the demands that they make upon us. And then you need to ask yourself, how do we reconcile the two? And I'm not advocating here for a late life rebellion or even an early life rebellion, although that is probably healthier from a, an identity curation point of view. What I am advocating for is thinking about our actions, where they come from, what their intent is and what their impact is on our, our life primarily and then the lives of those people around us who happen to be in their immediate circle. So think about that and there'll be a few more videos along this um, line of thought for the next couple of weeks. Um, do put your comments in the comment box below. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope this makes your day a little bit more thoughtful and hopefully it helps you understand a little bit better about yourself. Take care.